Now our top focus on beyond the Chief Justice of Pakistan has once again slammed the government of Pakistan and this time it's related to the audio leaks of former Prime Minister Imran Khan and also his wife Bushra Bibi. Chief Justice Umar Atha Bandial said that the government appointed judicial commission probing the audio leaks interfered in the internal matters of the judiciary. Pakistan top judge passed the remarks as five member bench was hearing a set of four petitions, one of which was also from the PTI chief himself. After a two hour long proceedings, the court reserved its verdict on the petitions while saying that an appropriate order will be issued soon. The government initiated commission, which was formed on May 20th, is headed by Justice Kazi Faiz. And the commission has instructed to finish the task within a month. Kazi Faiz Issa will replace the current Chief Justice in the matter. And the issue dates back to when Imran Khan was serving as the Prime Minister of Pakistan. According to Imran Khan, his discussions with his principal secretary, Azam Khan, was tapped via official line. He insisted that such things can only happen when you have to blackmail a person. The PTI chief has also added that his wife's phone call was doctored and leaked. A justice on the bench said that tapping telephonic conversations is not just an illegal act, but also a violation of human rights. The lawyer representing the petitioners added that by probing the audio leaks, the government is giving the impression that the act of phone tapping is acceptable in Pakistan. <laughs> Now, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is joining us on the phone line. Welcome to the broadcast, Anas. Could you brief our viewers about this case of phones being tapped and audio le audios being also leaked of former Prime Minister Imran Khan and also his wife, Bushra Bibi? And then, yeah, it's not just the former Prime Minister, but we've seen a series of leaks happening uh, with regards to the family of the Chief Justice as well. His mother-in-law's audios were leaked. Uh, prominent lawyers, their phones were tapped and their audios surfaced. Now, the government had formed an, uh, an inquiry commission headed by a justice of the Supreme Court, uh, which was very inter uh, interestingly inquiring about the contents of the leaks itself, but not the leak uh, as to who was tapping the phones. Uh, therefore, a petition was uh, was raised, uh, was uh, tabled before the Supreme Court against the for in this inquiry commission. And today, while hearing the case of the uh, against this inquiry commission, the Chief Justice came down quite heavily on the incumbent government, saying that the government was trying to create a divide. Uh, while nominating one of the judges without consulting the Chief Justice of Pakistan. Uh, the CJP has made it clear that the judiciary does not fall under the government, that both are functionaries of the Constitution, and therefore a discussion with the Chief Justice is the lead, least that the government uh, could have done on its part. The government tried to raise objections on the Chief Justice's participation in the bench, to which the Chief Justice said that the government cannot dictate the Chief Justice. It's an administrative matter and the government should stop interfering in the internal matters of the court, Ananya. Right, and I want to talk exactly about that, Anas. In terms of protocol, is it within the government's jurisdiction to set up a commission like this? And if so, then why is the Chief Justice calling it an interference in the judicial process? Do you think politics is at play here again? Uh, well, there is some politics, most certainly, because uh, J Justice Ghazi Faiz Isa, ha it has been implied upon that he's uh, one of those judges who's not uh, in the camp of the current Chief Justice, Justice Umar Atiyah Bandial. With that being said, uh, yes, it is the government on the government's part that it can set up uh, an inquiry commission like this. But in case if they are nominating a judge, then the protocol is in th that they would they should have first written to, to the chief justice of Pakistan, asking them to nominate a judge uh, on behalf of the judiciary. And then the chief justice would have nominated rather than the, rather than the government nominating a judge on its part. So therefore, the TIF and therefore those harsh words coming in from the chief justice, which by all means would be seen as an inter interference on the part of the government into the matters of the ju judiciary, which is also another executive and a constitutional pillar of, uh, of the country. Uh, yeah. All right, Anas, thank you for getting us all those updates from Islamabad.